Hello class, hope everyone's doing great. Hope you had a fun weekend. Let's get started. Today we're discussing unit one, lesson 12, units in scale drawings. So this is a little bit of a continuation from Friday's lesson. Learning targets, you can tell whether two scales are equivalent and you can write scales with units as scales without units. Uh, so pretty much a little bit of the same from Friday. And for the meme of the day, uh, just to let you know, that little figure here means infinity. So it's, yep, so you can tell that this is wrong. It just cracks me up. <laughs> okay. So for the bell work, we have 12.1 centimeters in miles. There are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, 12 inches in a foot, and 5,280 feet in a mile. Which expression gives you the number of centimeters in a mile? Explain your reasoning. Pause right now, and once you worked it out, continue. And welcome back. So, so let's see which one does give you the correct units. So we want which expression gives the number of centimeters in a mile. So we know that if there's at least one centimeter in a mile, so that's to be so many more. So we're, this is a multiplication problem. So we're not going to be dividing. We are not going to be dividing. Uh, again, we're not going to be dividing. Well, we don't add their units. That makes no sense. And then again, the same thing. We're not dividing just yet. I mean, there are occasions where you are, but for simplicity's sake, since we're going from small to big, we're using the same units. Sorry, we're multiplying the units. So that's why it's two. Since there is one centimeter, sorry, one inch is 2.54 centimeters, we multiply that by 12, and that gives us how many there are in a foot. Then we multiply that by 5,228, which tells us how many there are in a mile. So that's why it's this one. But this one and this one are closely related. Can you tell me what, how they're related? Well, if this, one's, if this one is from going from centimeter to miles, this one is the opposite. This one's going from miles to centimeters. So keep that in mind. Note times, lesson 12, units in scale drawing. So here we have a map of Nebraska, and we're saying the scale is one millimeter to one kilometer. Well, so we have Nebraska, so when creating a scale without units, the amount it increases by is a scale factor. To make this the same units, we multiply, this is millimeters, and we see how many for what, there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter, multiply it by 10, then we multiply it by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter, and then we multiply it by 1,000 because there are 1,000 kilometers in a meter. And then when multiplied all, we should get one millimeter represents one million millimeters. And that keeps it the same scale. They have the same units. So that means we can write it as one, two, one million. And I noticed from your bell work, I mean, sorry, from your cool downs, that some of you thought when you're given a scale without units, you said, oh, well, this is inch and this is feet. No, they must represent the same unit. Don't forget. Okay, so moving on, next question. So this is, yeah, this is um, for Nebraska. Now Rhode Island has a different scale. We're saying one inch is 10 miles. Well, they're using different units, but 
is it the same scale? Well, one way to find out is to make them both scales without units. To do so, just like we did before, well, we see how many inches are there in miles. So one inch is 10 miles. Well, so that is, so let's work it out. So it's how many inches are there in a foot? Well, 12. And then how many uh, feet are there in one mile? That's 5,280. But it's not just one mile, it's 10 miles. So we multiply by 10. So this is, uh, let me check. So one inch is really 6,000. 600,000, 633,600 inches. Well, now that they have the same unit, we can drop the units and it's one to this number. So now are they the same scale? No, this one's way, well, has a bigger scale than this one. So here are some units you'll use. Um, you won't be expected to know all of them, but uh, you will be doing this a lot. So get in the habit of learning how much one is compared to another. For instance, you know, millimeters is the smallest, centimeters is bigger than millimeters, so on and so forth. Now, I, I have attached some cards and from there you're supposed to sort them. I know, it, you, I don't expect you to print it out but definitely be able to match them. So sort the cards into equivalent scales. Let's just say card match. Uh, be prepared to explain how you know that the scales are equivalent. Um, you can't really do this, but uh, so there's one that has three, uh, it's three of a kind. Well, three of the same scale. So why, be sure to explain why they're the same scale. So pause right now look through the other materials, and then sort match them appropriately. Okay, here we have the scales. We have one centimeter to 10 meters, so on and so forth. So now matching them, well, where are their matches? So looking at the first match, we know that one centimeter to 100, sorry, one centimeter to one meter is really the same as saying, one to 100, right? There's 100 centimeters in a meter. And that's how they're the same one. So if this was centimeters, centimeters, that's how they represent the same thing. Next one, this one, we have one centimeter to one kilometer was well, the same as saying half a centimeter to half to 500 meters, cutting it in half. And this one, well, we're just dropping the units. And to do that, we need to make sure they're the same units. See, here we have one inch to eight feet. Well, again, all we did was divide both by eight, keeping it an equivalent ratio, and it's one eighth of an inch to one foot. But how is that the same to this one? One to 96. Well, how many inches are there in eight feet? And lat next one, we have one centimeter to 10 meters is the same as one millimeter to one meter and um, one inch to 1,000 inches. Why is that true? Well, here we're comparing meters and inches, different measurements, but we know that to one meter because there is 1,000 1, millimeters in one meter and that means divide by 10, there are 10, uh, 100 centimeters in one, cent in one meter. Oh my God, all these units are tripping me up. Moving on to the next one, one foot to one mile. Well, how many feet are there in one mile? And one inch to one mile, well, that's kind of like what we did in the notes. So a couple things to take away from this are 
that some of these, the scales really, you want the scales to represent the same scale factor, right? Scale factor is something you multiply to something else. Well, how do you know they have the same scale factors? Like, so you have to make them to the same unit. And remember, you had to first convert them without unit so you can see if they're the same. So for 12.3, we're looking at the world's largest flag. So take a look. This is the world's largest flag. And Tunisia holds the record for it. And this is in 2016. It was almost as long as four soccer fields. And look at the center, a star with, with the moon around it. And look, we have people. Well, look at the size of the people compared to the flag. So 12.3 says, uh, complete the table, explain or show your reasoning. So number one, if the flag length and flag height, well, here's the actual scale, well, the actual size, and we have a scale of one to 2,000. And pay attention, one is in meters and the other is in centimeters. So answer that, and then looking at two. So using at the same scale of one to 2,000, um, make these into an equivalent scale. Be sure to explain and show your reasoning, show your work. And three, find the areas of, the, of these parts. And three, find the areas of the large flag and the small flag. All right, pause right now and get started. Welcome back. So to find the actual length, we know we, we're saying a scale of one to 2,000. Well, that means we just have to multiply this by 2,000. Well, doing so, we get, so 13.2 times 2,000, that equals 26.4 centimeters. Or remember, sorry, no, um, I forgot to. So that's three zeros, one, two point zero oh, centimeters. But remember, we want our answers in meters. So how many meters are there in a centimeter? Sorry, how many centimeters are there in a meter? 100. So this is really 264 meters. So similarly, well, if we multiply to go from scale to actual, we divide to go from actual to scale. So this is 396 divided by 2,000, 0 0.198 meters. But we want our answers in centimeters, so we multiply by 100. And that gives us 19.8 centimeters. Similarly here, we divide by 2,000, 99 divided by 2,000. Oh, that's an extra. 0 0.0495 meters, but I want our answer in centimeters, so we divide by 100. Sorry, multiply by 100. Ooh. And that gives us 4.95 centimeters. So for two, we are saying, uh, well, one centimeter, two centimeters. So if this is the same scale, we know that it's just 2,000, right? Same unit, this means same unit. So for B, we're saying one centimeter, two something meters. But first, let's start off with centimeters. So that's 2,000 centimeters. And then we have to convert centimeters to meters. So then we divide by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter, and that gives us 20. That's 20 meters. Similarly here, start with 2,000 centimeters, but now we gotta get that into kilometers. But how many uh, centimeters are there in a kilometer? Well, if there's 100 centimeters in a meter, and then there's 1,000 kilometers, sorry, 1,000 meters in a kilometer, we're really dividing by 
for 100 centimeters for 100 centimeters in a meter times 1,000 for meters in a kilometer. So really dividing by one, two, three, four, five, 10,000. And that equals uh, 0 0.02 kilometers. Uh, similar here. Well, I like to think of this one as, well, there is one meter to two thousand meters. We got to make this an equivalent unit, so we multiply both by two. So that is two meters is four thousand meters. And five centimeters to something meters. Oh, this one's a little bit longer. So let's see. So we know one centimeter to 2,000 centimeters. So we multiply by five. So that's five centimeters to 10,000 centimeters. Now, how many centimeters into meters? We divide by 100, and that's 100 meters. Divide this by 100. The zeros cancel out, and we're left with two zeros. So that is 100 meters. For F, we know that, well, we had to divide 1,000 by 2,000 to get our distance in meters. So that's half a meter. Well, how many centimeters are there in half a meter? Well, we know that is half a meter is 50 centimeters, right? Because a meter is 100 centimeters. So now that is 50. And G, for G, look at B. So one centimeter represents 10, 20 meters. Well, how many um, millimeters in a centimeter? Well, that is 10 millimeters. So 20, so 20 meters is 10, so 10 millimeters to 20 meters. And this means that all these have the, the equivalent scale factor. So now for the area, simple. What we have to multiply base times height. So that's 396 times 264, and that equals 104544. Don't forget units, meters squared. Same thing here. That is 13.2 times 19.8, and that equals. 261.36 centimeters cubed, squared, sorry. Ooh. And the area of the large flag is how many times the area of the smaller flag? Trick question, it's not twice as big. The lengths are twice as big, but since, sorry, not twice as big, 2,000 times big. So we're saying the length is 2,000 times bigger, but the height is also 2,000 times bigger. So we're multiplying base times height. So that is really 4,000 times bigger. Pay close attention. We're going to be doing a lot of problems like that. So scales can be expressed in many different ways, including using different units or not using any units at all. So just to wrap things up, be sure you're able to express units, scales without units. So if we have a scale of one inch to five miles without units, how does that look like? Well, since there are 12 inches in a foot and 5,280 feet in a mile, then that is the same as saying one inch to 63,360 inches. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Be sure to keep turning in those uh, exit tickets and show your work.